I thought I should also put in um, another slide for factors of consideration when you're looking at moving from ECC to s hana because these are the factors that you have to consider when you're looking at the options of moving from ECC to s hana So, like I told you, if you already have a heterogenic application landscape, so that is a very important factor because that drives your entire TCO. If you have an ECC system, which is uh, probably you have ECC for about 10 years or under 10 years, if you have for more than 10 years, then I think you have already a problem because your most of your processes or your business itself could have been transformed. You could have undergone an M&A, for example, or a, or a, or a diversification or, or parts of the company would have merged or demerged, things like this would happen. I mean, again, it could happen under 10 years as well, but the assumption, just taking a baseline assumption by saying that anything with under 10 years, limitations of legal entities, because that could also be a, a standing factor when you're considering an option of either conversion or a new implementation. Why I say that is no limitation on number of legal entities is also because uh, we came across situations with customers where the legal entities were probably over the hundred and they had got some advice that if you have more than 100 legal entities, for example, then you have a problem with it and coupled with 10 years of data. So that's going to be a huge amount of data for to be uh, taken up for a conversion. You know, so that is, is, is a problem as well. Now, and also if you have a database size of, of under 3 TB, for example. So if you have your production database if it's actually more than four terabytes or five terabytes, even till four is an, is, is an option. But then when it crosses a certain threshold, I put three here, but when it cross, crosses a certain threshold, it becomes a little bit difficult, at least from a conversion standpoint, then you have to really think of, of, of a new implementation. The most important aspect is impact on business when it compares to a conversion or uh, a new implementation. So that is, when you look at the impact on businesses is, is, is going to be huge when it comes to a new implementation. Conversion is not so much. Number of ERP users is less than about uh, 5,000. It should be 5,000, it's 500. That's a mistake, it should be 5,000. And the most important point is cutover. Uh, if you really can do the cutover within a weekend or little more than a weekend, or is it going to be more? So we have experience in this, our case studies, we are trying to push it down uh, with a little more than a weekend, so about two and a half days. And the number of runs before production that you have to take when you look at a migration option. Now, these were some of the points that uh, we thought we should put, put this up during this webinar because these are also the, the kind of uh, factors that are being discussed with customers about uh, when it comes to migration or when it comes to a new implementation because customers are one is the decision itself and the second is the approach. So the way I've done this is I've earlier discussed the why for s -Fahana, the business case for s -Fahana, and now we're discussing how to get there. And when you talk about how to get there, you have these factors for consideration. And that is the list that you now see in front of you. Now, again, adoption methods. I think I discussed it already in the last slide. So the adoption methods, primarily there are three. The earlier slide was about the factors you have to consider when you choose one of the adoptions. Typically, the adoption method is a new implementation. So when you go back to those considering factors, if your factors say that uh, you have a huge landscape, you've been using SAP for 15 years, ECC for, or you moved from 4.6 and then ECC 5, then ECC 6. So you've probably been using that system for maybe 15 years or, or and then you have a database of about five, six terabytes. I don't think that's a good case for a system conversion. So that would eventually mean that you probably need to go a new implementation because your your business probably would have changed. Your your processes would have changed. You could have have maybe your custom development is, is in a mess. You would have uh, so much of custom data, custom objects, custom transactions that you might have to probably, you think that is a good time to rethink about doing up the whole thing again. But again, what you have to remember here is, uh, in such cases, you probably are better off with option one or sometimes with option three, which is landscape transformation. 
why I say option three of landscape transformation is the time and the impact on the business. Now, if the business is not ready for such a huge program again, because in most of these cases, these programs last anywhere between 18 to 36 months. Now, that's a huge period when it comes uh, to the impact on business. Now, if your business is not ready for, for something like that, but you still want to get uh, the benefits of Esfahana, then you have to look at the third option of landscape transformation. Or if you're ready, or if you think that the business is, is, is capable of embarking on a new program, typically they are when they cross a certain threshold, which is, which is what I drew the line as 10 years. So typically when a business crosses a 10 year period with an older ERP platform, I think they are, they are sort of ready for uh, a new change. Uh, but then again, the impact on the business has to be considered. At least in our use case, they had about a 10 year old, 10 year old system. They still had a lot of uh, ECC data, typical large size with a lot of, uh, with about three terabytes of data, 5,000 odd users, all of this. So that was a very thin line that we had to take between new implementation and conversion. So eventually we went the conversion route. So that is, that is also why we picked up those factors with the line there saying that if you still have it in, in, in that mode, in the factors that I just mentioned the earlier slide, you could still make the conversion and we are doing one of them. So the system conversion is still a very viable option for customers who have uh, a system, an ECC system that's probably about eight, nine years old, less than about three terabytes of data, less than about 5,000 odd users. We could still manage to go live within uh, a downtime weekend, a little more than a downtime weekend, let's say about 50 to 56 hours, little more than a downtime weekend of migration. With 1709, uh, you could still get all the benefits of S4 without going in for a new implementation.